what we're going to do next is learn all the keys on the piano with a story in a very few moments. If I take a piece of paper and I cover up the black keys on the piano, you cannot tell the white keys apart. They all look the same. So we need the black keys. Why? They have a pattern. They have a pattern of two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, all the way up and down. If I take the two black keys and pretend that they are walls, like the walls of a house, and put my hand over them, I have built myself a doghouse, and D, the dog, lives in the doghouse. Every place you have two black keys. In the center is the D, the dog. Here's another two black keys. And there is D. And if I keep going down, I'm going to go further. We have another two black keys, D, and another two. And as I take the keyboard up, we have every place, two black keys, D, and D. There are seven of them. Now in music, the letters are alphabetical. So next to the D, naturally would have to be the C, the cat. And on the other side would have to be E, the elephant. So you look for two black keys. In the middle is the D. Two, its left is the C and to its right is the elephant. So as we go down, here is another D. Cat, elephant. Dog, elephant, cat. And as we go up, we're going to find another set of two black keys. Dog, elephant, and cat. How did we learn them before? We somehow remembered where C was, and if we wanted to find an E, we'd always have to go C, D, E, or an F, we'd have to go C, D, E, F. And here we want to give you pictures so that you can look at a keyboard and go D, E, without hesitation. Now we will go to the three black keys. And we will pretend that these are walls, like the walls of a house. With my hand, I build a roof over them. And I built myself a two-car garage. And inside the garage, we have two cars parked. First of all, the word garage begins with a G, and the next letter is A. So we have the G car and the A car, the Audi or the Acura. And I think this might be the Geo. So we're going down here. We find another three black keys. We have the G car and the A car. Further down, another three black keys. G car, A car. Going up to the next set of three black keys way up here, G car, A car. Now in your downloads that you downloaded before the CDs, you will have a picture of this where you have the dog, the cat, and the elephant, and the two cars that go into the garage. Now garages need doors. So next to the G car, is the F, and I know you're going to say it, which is great, the front door. And next to the A car is the B, 
Yes, you're right, the back door. And genius minds think alike. We'll find another garage. Here's the garage. G car. Front door. A car. Back door. If we go up here, we have another garage, three black keys. A car. Back door. G car front door and one more way down here another three black keys we'll start with the front door back door g car a car now these are all the white keys on the piano let's go through them this is a D, doghouse, and this is an E, or elephant, C, for cat. Go to three black keys, and that gives us a two-car garage. Inside we have the G, G car, and the A, A car. And next to the G car, we have the F, the front door. And on the other side of the A car, we have the B, the back door. And keep those pictures in your mind until your brain is done with the pictures and just gives you the letters. So again, that is all the white keys. But what about the black keys? Mm -hmm. The black keys of themselves have no name. They are either a sharp, which looks like a tic-tac-toe sign, or a flat, which looks like a flattened B, for the white keys. Now, if you sit on something sharp, do you go up or down? Naturally, the answer is up. So here is the F, the front door. Did you hear that that tone went up a bit? F, and this is going to be F sharp. G car going up, G sharp. A car going up. A sharp, B. Now between B and C, there's no black key. So does there a B sharp? Yes, there is. It's the same as C. But you may say, what if they they sound the same? So what's the big deal? In English language, we have many words that sound the same but are spelled differently, like T O T O O. T W O, but they mean something different. So a C in music means something different than a B sharp. And here's an E. And here's an E sharp. So sharps go up. And up in music is to your right. Down in music is to your left. Flats, flat tires go down. So here's a B. B flat. A, A flat. G, G flat. F, F flat. E, E flat. These can have two names. So here we have a B to a B flat and an A and A sharp. This can be a sharp or a flat. So remember, sharps go up and they look sharp. They look like a tic-tac-toe sign. And flats, a squashed B, go down 
like flat tires. And now you have a much easier way of remembering all the notes on the piano and not ever losing them because your brain took many pictures.